Dear Lord, tell me where do I start? Let me take this breath before I speak from my heart. Let me talk to him, help me lead him out the dark. Let me show him all the pain, the hopes and the scars of these kids trying to do their part. They want to do good, Lord, they want to go far. Over here dreaming what could be tomorrow. They get their hopes up and all they get is sorrow. That there is a body of law that makes it very clear and convincing that undocumented immigrants, in fact, do have rights. That it's a lie that they don't. That if you look to the very foundation of our Constitution, the 14th Amendment says very clear that no person shall be abridged of their uh, rights uh, to be treated fairly and equally. And every economist I talk to says that by 2025, we are going to be missing one million people from our economy who have BAs and BSs, who have bachelors of arts and bachelors of science, will be missing because of the demographic changes that are taking place. I rise today in opposition to this bill, but I do so with a heavy heart. I appreciate the sentiments of my seatmate. I understand the unintended consequences of what is going on where you have people who are brought here through no will of their own. We are not here to debate how we feel about things. We're not here to debate whether or not this, that somebody should help these students. And I say to you that this law will undermine the rule of law. It puts legal immigrants who are waiting in a long line, perhaps even from the same country, at a disadvantage.